Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn UV unwrapping workflow. UV mapping is a technique used to wrap a 2D image texture onto a 3D mesh. The process of creating a UV map is called UV unwrapping. U represents the horizontal axis and V represents the vertical axis. So, the 3D coordinates of the model have been translated into 2D coordinates. Let's say that we have a 3D box model which made out of paper. We want to flatten it on the table. The question is, where would you place the cuts in the model? UV unwrapping comes into play here. Because UV unwrapping places seams on your model, and tells the software how to unwrap the model. In this case, we need to mark a seam the edges we want to cut. Let's see how to UV unwrap. Let's press Shift A and add a monkey head. When we add a mesh object, Blender generates UVs automatically. Let's click on the UV editing tab. Select the monkey head, press tab key and go to edit mode. As you can see, we have a UV map that is generated automatically. If we want to unwrap UV manually, firstly we can delete existing UV map, or can add new UV map. To do that, let's go to object data properties menu, go to UV maps section, delete the existing UV map. Now, we can unwrap the monkey head. Be sure that all vertices are selected. Press U key to go to UV mapping menu, where you can go to UV menu at the top right. Let's click on the unwrap. Now, we need an image texture to wrap onto monkey head. Hold down the mouse wheel, and slide the mouse to left. Let's click on the new button, and add a new image texture. Let's name this image as UV test. We can keep the image size at 1024 pixel, because we'll just create a test texture. Usually 4096 pixel texture images are used in model texturing. But, don't forget that it will consume much more memory. Select the generated type as UV grid, and press OK. We cannot see the image on the monkey head yet. Because firstly we need to add material for the monkey head. Let's open the new window. Let's switch the editor type to shader editor. Press N key and close the side toolbar menu. Click on the new button and add a new material. Let's select the principled shader and press Ctrl T. As you can see, it has added extra nodes we need automatically. But, the node wrangler add-on must be enabled. Let's go to edit mode, preferences, click on the add-ons tab. Type node wrangler in the search box, and be sure it is enabled. We can also add these nodes manually. As you can see, the texture coordinate node is set to UV coordinates defaultly. That's good. It means, any texture we connect to that, will use these UV coordinates. Now, let's load our UV test image. Click on the image library, select the UV test image. We cannot still see the image on the monkey head because we need to switch material preview mode. Press C key on the 3D viewport, and select the material preview. There we go. As you can see, the texture looks very bad on the monkey head. The back of the head looks stretched. Around the left eye looks pressed. Only the eyes looks nicely projected. Because they are separated from the monkey head. The monkey head is enclosed mesh. We need to cut this mesh in proper places, and unwrap the mesh again. The aim of the unwrap is to project the grid texture onto the monkey head uniformly. Let's switch to edge selection mode and select these edges. Firstly, let's separate the ears from the monkey head. Let's select the edges we want to be cut. Let's go to Edge menu, and mark seam selected edges. As you can see, the selected edges has become red. It means, we tell Blender to cut the mesh in these seams. Let's mark seam for the other ear also.
Now, let's cut the monkey head just in the middle and mark seam. Let's also cut the monkey head across a little bit to unwrap easily. Now, our mesh ready to unwrap. Let's press A key and select all vertices. Then, press U key and press unwrap. There we go. It looks better now. Let's increase the margin value to see better independent section of the UV map. We call island each independent section in the UV map. For example, the ears was joint to monkey head, we cut off the ears and they became island. We can select the islands. Let's switch to island selection mode, and click on the any island in the UV map. We can move by pressing G key, rotate by pressing R key, and scale by pressing S key. As you can see, when we scale up the island, the grids have become smaller size on the monkey. We can adjust the scale of the texture like this. We can also use mapping vector in the shader editor. We can select the vertices, edges and faces at the same time. Let's enable the UV sync selection mode. We can also select linked. Let's go over the right eye, and press L key. We can delimit selection with seams. So, we can select the ears separately. In this example, we have just couple of UV islands. It is easy to organize them. But if we work on larger projects, UV islands can overlap each other, and they may not fit the UV square. In this case, we need to rearrange them, and fit them into this UV square. Let's move the islands so that they overlap each other. Press a key and select all islands. Let's go to UV menu, and click on the pack island. There we go. There are lots of UV unwrap options also. But we have only learned how to work unwrapping process in this lecture. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.